What is going on? Bill Wise Guy here, and uh, we're just going to be covering a very short section of the Rust book uh, in this video. In the next video, we're going to be also covering a very short section of the Rust book. And then, um, I believe straight after that is, if I'm looking at the sheet here, slicing and slicing syntax. Um, and then, let me just quickly turn over, uh, and then we get to the string primitive, and then we get to tuples. So, let's get straight into this. Um, let's scaffold a new project. So, we'll say cargo new new and we'll call this one array underscore len and we'll say dash dash bin because it's a binary all right and we'll jump into our atom editor here and let's go to our source main.rs all right cool so um if you guys remember in the last video uh we talked about array initialization and we can initialize array to a certain number of elements or whatever else um in this video we're just going to be uh making a really simple array again so let's call it uh a let's call it z We'll say let z equal to, and we'll use our array, array initialization syntax, and we'll say one, two, three. And the reason I've done that is because that is what is in the book, and so it should hopefully make it easier uh, for you guys to follow along. All right, so let's say print line, and we will leave it as that, and we'll say z dot len, and len is a function, um, and we'll save it. So just like that. All right, cool. It's compiled. So. Let's go to our compiler and we'll say cargo run. Uh, oops, I forgot to cd into the directory. My bad. It is called array len. Len and we'll say cargo run. And there you go. So we get the number three printed out. So that is the total length of the array. So I know this is such a super short tutorial. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit extra into this. Um, the reason why you might want to find the length of the array is... Um, you may want to use, um, well, at least in other programming languages, uh, this so doesn't so much apply to Rust, but um, in other programming languages, um, you may want to find the length of the array so that you can iterate through it. Um, if you guys are familiar with, say, C++'s syntax or any other, um, a lot of other programming languages, um, you have something which is uh, kind of like this. Um, you can do things like for uh, I... Uh, is equal to zero, and you can say i is less than um, z dot len, and then you can say um, i plus plus. This doesn't so much apply to Rust, but um, there there are certainly plenty of things that you need to get the uh, the length of the array out for in Rust. Um, and even if there isn't, well, then that's how you do it anyway. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, stay tuned for the next video, uh, which I'm recording.